I don't know if you guys can see this, but the, leaves, the, the maturity of the leaves in this tree joins to the branches in like an even pattern um, where there's like a leaf right on the other side of the branch to another leaf. But every here and there, like on this uh, one here on the end, they join in like an alternating pattern. No, oh, just something kind of interesting. I don't know what kind of tree this is. If any of you know what kind of tree it is, uh, even in the comments, I mean, you can't really see it too well because it's probably in silhouette with the bright sky. Um, yeah. Hey, look, this is my high school. This is where I went to high school, guys. Uh, there was a uh, a drunk guy that. Sorry if you're getting w windy mic noise right now. Um, there's a drunk guy that crashed a car down through the windows down there at one point one morning. Um, we came to school and it was just all boarded. There were like boards up and we couldn't go in that hallway. Um, let's go down here. So this is sort of like the main entrance, but this is not where anyone really entered because the parking lot's on the other side of the school. Alright, so here's where my high school is. And um, that is where they're building the new jail. Yeah, that seems kind of odd. Um, yeah, my high school pretty much is in downtown Greensboro. Um, that's the YMCA where I had PE because my school doesn't have a gym. We just used the Y, which is across the street. And of course, here's trailers where there's more classes because it wouldn't be a high school these days if they didn't have trailers where they had more classes. And those trailers actually right there, those weren't here when I went to school here, but those were. That's why I had um, social studies and that's where we had like the class portion of PE uh, was in there. Okay, so they used to have a chain that, that went across right here and I think people kept driving through there anyway and like breaking the chain or something and so then they had put up some metal poles and I guess someone even drove through the metal poles or something. Uh, so now there's just these gigantic concrete barrier things because they don't want cars to use this as a through fare between those roads. And here's the entrance of the school which all of the kids see and it's like I don't know seven o'clock right now a little after so I don't know if this will actually be open or not but we can we can try and nope well I don't know if you can see in there let's see but that was the commons area in my school in there that is the extent of our cafeteria over on that side um, yep that's it and this is where we had lunch. Pretty small, but pretty awesome. No one, well, practically no one actually got things from the cafeteria anyway. For the majority of my high school career, this was known as the Crack Rock because I think for like the, my freshman through junior year, it was just painted white. It was just a white rock and that's, that's all it was. So it was just called the Crack Rock. And then I think it was like at the end of junior year, I think, our drama department here decided to use it for advertising. After that, then it started being used for what it was probably intended for, which is for seniors to paint like, hey, awesome, we're graduating, stuff on. I just want to say that lounging chairs were not out here when I went to school here. And neither were these picnic tables. Those would have been nice. You're probably wondering what prompted the semi tour of my school uh, well especially since the beginning of the video was me looking at a tree but the answer is that I was over there looking at a tree because there's a, a concert going on <laughs> I just went on a um, two, two and a half mile walk in muggy 90 plus weather and I'm going to rehydrate with warm pickle juice with bits of garlic in it. This is gonna suck. Oh, I can't get it open. Let me put you guys down. Hey, enjoy the sky. Open. Oh, my hands are too sweaty. 
There you go. Oh, I got pickle juice on my hand. All right. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. I'm so thirsty though, like my body wants me to drink more of it. But... Yeah, there's, there's nowhere around here for me to get this taste out of my mouth. Oh. God, that is, that is atrocious. All right, so the last part of the video you just saw was filmed on Sunday actually. But uh, this part, obviously not. Um, oops, it's Wednesday. Oh. Um, E3. Pretty sweet. Oh. I'm running this down. Oh. Um. I'm Tim M. The Wii U, yeah, really don't like the name. I don't I don't think it's a very smart move. Um, the hardware itself, I think, is pretty cool. I don't think it's really my type of thing, though. I don't know. I'm uh, more excited about the NGP, which, of course, is now PlayStation Vita. That's also a really bad name choice. I don't, don't like it. I guess, at least in that case, you can sort of save it just by calling it the PSV. Like, that's, that's, that's fine. PSV is fine. I think that might be what people end up calling it more than PlayStation Vita. Uh, it is really fucking hot. I'm going to the shade. With Xbox, Halo 4 is, you know, it's okay to me. I'm a big Halo fan, but I was definitely fine with the Halo trilogy plus prequel ending with Reach. And of course, Bungie didn't lie, because Bungie said they weren't going to make any more Halo. First they said they weren't going to make any Master Chief games when they finished with Halo 3. And then when they finished with Reach, they said they weren't doing any more Halo games, at least for the foreseeable future. And so they didn't lie because Halo 4 is a new developer. It's 343, I believe is what it is. And they've done some downloadable content maps for Halo Reach. And I'm pretty sure it was started by some people that left Bungie or something like that. Of course, there, there was also the Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, which is a HD remake of Halo Combat Evolved, which looks pretty cool. One thing that I really still want to see, which I somewhat doubt is going to happen, is Star Wars Battlefront 3. It needs to happen. I don't know if any of you guys ever saw the leaked footage of when um, Free Radical was working on it because that looked absolutely amazing. There was the land battle and the sky battle and space battle, and you could go fluently between them just by hopping in a spaceship like on the ground and flying up into the air battle or flying up into the space battle. Some really awesome tech there. Unfortunately, that build of it, I'm pretty sure, died when Free Radical went out of business because I'm pretty sure Free Radical had all of the rights and things to the, the tech that was involved in that. There's been a whole lot of rumors of other companies working on it and LucasArts apparently recently got the rights for using um, the Unreal Engine 3, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I think that's what it is though. Which can be used read for lots of types of games, but obviously first thing comes to mind first thing comes to mind is first person shooters. So that would be pretty awesome if that did pan out. I'm actually going to Seattle tomorrow which is Thursday, to go out for my sister's graduation from graduate school. So my next video will be coming to you guys from Seattle and hopefully it will actually get put up on Sunday. I've got to walk all the way fucking back. Today is awesome because I'm finally getting this video up. I'll see whoever posts the video next when they post that video. We'll see all you guys as you post my video. That little thing up in the left, that's a bird nest. I don't know if you can see the bird yet, but you can see it fly away. Ducks. <laughs>